Neglect and abuse in childhood, now struggling with relationship issue and life in general. Yes, by the way, this is probably 99% of the people on Mother Earth. When we were neglected and abused in our childhood, especially zero to five, we're broken. We're truly broken in our adult life. And blaming parents, it's pointless. The reason why they broke us, because they were broken themselves. The reason why they broke us is also, if we're looking at it from the spiritual space, is because we were breaking our children in our previous life. So you can look at it from psychological realm or spiritual. Both, it is what it is. But at the same time, now we are responsible to heal our soul, our mind, in order to be happy. Otherwise, we're going to come broken into relationship and we're going to do this. Leaning on the person, not having an arm, not having a leg, please save me. And most likely we're attracting people like us who are broken too. And so you're missing arm and leg, they're missing arm and leg, and you're thinking you're now one person. And that could never work. Because our goal is to become whole and complete as one person emotionally, physically, spiritually healthy, so we can attract emotionally, physically, and spiritually healthy person, and then it works. But how can we do that? Again, if you're a man or even if you're a woman, wake up in the morning and start a day with affirmation, meditation, and then go for a walk and go for a run. You need to get the endorphins in. You need to rely on the powerful source, our universe or higher power. So you feel, yes, I can conquer. Yes, I can achieve and be healthy and happy. And you can overcome anything. And therapists can help you in the realm of mind, but you therapists can never help you in the realm of soul. I've been working as a counselor for so many years, but then I see, yeah, people are feeling better. People are feeling much better and they have boundaries, their relationship improved, but I didn't see their happiness. I didn't see their bliss in their being until I start giving them the knowledge of spirituality. And when I start giving them knowledge and helping them how to do the meditation, how to live properly, and when they start doing that practices, I start seeing that they come alive. They're starting to feel happy. They start to take care of their children and not just dumping them in the daycare or kindergarten. They started to naturally decrease their working hours and their what's their main purpose shifted because mostly how people live they put the value is material goods good home good car and money and success but that's my friends are not the true value in life the true value in life is what kind of relationship you have with your family members, with your relatives, with your children? What is your relationship to the universe and higher power? If you're happy, when you're happy and fulfilled inside, that's when you're truly happy. My friends, I was making even years ago thousands of dollars, but I was not happy because material goods can get you to this happiness in life. But when you start to turn to spirituality, that's when you really starting to feel happiness. And that, my friends, a job and money can never provide you. You will always feel like stuck. This is it. But inside, you're not going to feel happy. No matter how many Gucci's, Versace's, and Louis Vuitton, Mercedes's, and Tesla's, and big homes you're going to buy. No, this is it. And once you're going to start working on yourself, spirituality, wow, big difference, my friends. And that's what I'm trying to give you. The inspiration and motivation to head there.